Paul, you said there was a text you wanted to get to. Yeah. I know this isn't everyone's opinion, but the text was, How dare Mather tell the truth in 2021? It will not be tolerated. More ridiculousness. And I know that this goes into the same argument that we're making all over the stratosphere these days about the idea of cancel culture, which is something that does concern me in some way, shape, or form. You didn't bring up cancel culture on your own, did you? Did you just decide to grab the third rail of any sort of conversation these days? We're going to talk about cancel culture. <laughs> I suppose I am at this point in yeah, time. Yeah, you just did. But you just, Danny, I thought you were going to read a text. I thought that's what was going to happen, and now we're going to talk about cancel culture, and we're both going to get canceled for it. <laughs> Perhaps. Thanks, here, Paul. Here, Thanks. This but, is great. This isn't about cancel culture, though, and that's what's driving me crazy about this. This one is not about that. Okay, first off, this is an employee who essentially just went the Michael Scott boom roasted route with like 20 people and a poor ballpark in Everett. <laughs> like the poor <laughs> Everett <laughs> office talks. What have they done? So there's that. Then, <laughs> How do you feel like the other thing? They didn't even have a season last year. Yeah. Like Everett, they couldn't even play a minor league. There's been questions about the minor league future, and he's just like, oh, yeah, here's one for the road. Everett's Park stinks. So, like, so, come on. So he's he's not a stand-up comedian that just roasted <laughs> 20 people in the organization. I'm exaggerating a little bit there. Yeah, but, but I the, don't know. Here, here, is the, here is why he got – here is why he resigned, and I'm saying that in quotation marks. He just caused the 2022 lockout. I mean, he literally just failed his boss. He just gave the Players Association every single example that they need to basically come up to the owners and say, you guys are jobbing us right now, and we need to have that changed immediately. And that's going to cause owners to, I think, shrivel a little bit. So this isn't about cancel culture, and stop with that nonsense. This is about an, it, a guy who... I almost said a bad word. This is about a guy who just couldn't keep his mouth shut and said a bunch of stupid stuff, and in doing so, made his owner's job more difficult in addition to those in baseball operations.